Hey guys, Techno out here, and we have the Sony Xperia L1, and there's a couple of things I like about this device, and some things that I really don't like about the device, and we're going to go ahead and talk about all of them right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into that review. So I'm trying to make my reviews a little bit shorter. So we're going to go ahead and go around the outside of the device at the same time we talk about the specs. We have a 13 megapixel camera right here, um, LED flash, Xperia branding, either NFC or Nougat branding. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can tell me. Leave it in the comment below what kind of branding that is. Um, and then that's all on the back. The back's really plain. Uh, just your typical Sony, really all the way around, your typical Sony uh, design and body language. On the right hand side you do have your volume up, volume down rockers, your power button. On the top a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a microphone. On the bottom USB type C you have no quick charge here, a microphone, a loudspeaker, on-screen buttons, Sony branding at the top, 5 megapixel front facing camera, your earpiece right here, nothing at the bottom. On the left hand side underneath this tab here and you have to be really careful taking this tab off because you can pull it completely off. You have your micro SD card slot and then your uh, SIM card tray there. Let's pop that back in there and make sure it goes in nice and snug. And then that's really it I think as we go around the outside of the device. It is a 2500, let me check my notes real quick. 2620 milliamp hour battery. So it's not too bad. It does have 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Both cameras are f2.2 aperture. The rear camera has the LED flash, of course, the touch focus, face detection, high dynamic range, and both cameras shoot video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. So with all of that being said, let's talk about the display. It's 720p, 1280 by 720. I don't know the exact pixels per inch. I'll leave it on the video when I upload it. But it's an okay display. I can say it's probably one of the best features of the phone is the display. It, it looks really nice. It's hard to find pixels or anything like that. So it's it it could get brighter and it could look, you know, colors could be more saturated and things like that, but it is an IPS LCD display, so there is that. Um, whites could be wider, but you can adjust that in the settings menu. Um, it runs the, it looks like it runs the uh, Google Now launcher out of the box. It does run Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box. As we jump into the settings menu here, we'll take a look and I'll show you. So go to about phone and go down here. Android 7.0 Nougat and September or November 6th uh, 2017 security patch. It did have a couple updates when I pulled it out of the box. And I guess that was the security patches or whatnot. Um, some Sony th things it has here is uh, the Sony themes. It comes pre-installed with four pre-installed themes. And then you have to purchase any other Sony themes that you want, which is kind of silly to me. This device cost $179 unlocked when I purchased it. It was on sale. And... I don't know. I've just I've done so many reviews lately of of uh, entry level or budget or mid range devices that are just so good. Like you notice, there was no fingerprint sensor anywhere on here. So when we go to lock screen and security, guys, you've got your 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 security is none, swipe, pattern pin, or password, and those are the only ways that you can lock your device. And the device was released in. June or July of, let me check my notes, June or July of 2017, and it was actually, all right, June of 2017, and there's not a fingerprint sensor on here, not a fingerprint sensor anywhere, there's no face unlock, there's no nothing, 
this was released in 2016. It's got dual cameras, fingerprint sensor. This was released in 2017. Dual, dual camera setup, fingerprint sensor. 1080p display, 4080 milliamp hour battery. You know, and I'm not telling you that the Sony Xperia doesn't get good battery life because it does, it gets pretty good battery life. Um, okay, let's talk about it a little bit more here. Under display, you get an option where you can control your, um, like your white balance and it's actually called white balance and you can change your RGB and you can change, you can make your display more warm and then you put it back to default values, warm or cool and you can adjust your display how you like it. So I guess that's a plus uh, and that's really about it. You can double tap your power button to go to your um, camera and let's go ahead and talk about that camera. This camera is it's just there's nothing spectacular about this camera at all. It does have a manual mode and in the manual mode you can change your white balance, you can change your uh, your ISO, you can change your exposure and you can change your autofocus but other than that, I mean, there's really nothing else. You can change your resolution. It's on 10 megapixel, and that's how you get 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I put it on 13 megapixel when I took some of my pictures, and then when I reopen the app, it always goes back to 10 megapixels, 16 by 9. Something I don't like about the device. Um, on the front here, the screen, every time you swipe over, it's, it's raised. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raised on all corners and the bottoms are really pointy and the top's really pointy. The speaker, go ahead and play a YouTube video here for you, one of mine. Jump in here and we'll play, the, we'll go ahead and start it right about here. Play the video. The display is kind of nice. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video. Comment in the section below any questions you have about this device or any other device. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, Lavelle, so the... Okay, so that's about... That gives you an idea. The video quality, it's nice. I upload everything in 1080p. So the display, like I said, is probably the big win here. Uh, even though it is only 720p, it still looks kind of nice. Uh, the camera, the back camera in studio lighting can take good pictures in every other lighting situation I've been in so far. It takes really mediocre pic pictures unless you feel like spending 25 minutes messing with the, you know, manual controls. And then you have to hold your hand really steady when you take the picture. Uh, shutter speed on this thing is crazy long in even decent lighting conditions if the if it's not super bright the shutter speed is sometimes you know 15 or 20 seconds where you have you hit the button to take the picture and you have to hold it still for like 15 20 no lie no exaggeration like 15 20 seconds before it takes the picture and then it still turns out either overexposed or underexposed so and that's a 13 megapixel rear facing camera in the the front page the front camera is just it's trash um honestly it's just really bad you guys have heard me review other phones i don't i've tried to like this phone i've, I've given it a chance even performance performance is just it's it's laggy at times like way more than other devices that cost less and everything just feels sluggish even swiping through your home screen here just feels sluggish in your app drawer it feels sluggish and if you go to like Facebook and open up Facebook, which I'm not going to, and then you go to scroll, it's really laggy and, and, and just everything is, takes longer. Everything's sluggish. I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just, it feels like it wants to move, like it wants to go, but it feels like it's like a six cylinder, but it's running on four. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just I, I'm not a fan of the performance of this device at all. And in all honesty, I'm not really a fan of this device at all. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the review, guys. I mean, the camera's worth nothing. There's no fingerprint scanner. The the uh, speaker gets decently loud, 
but it gets really tinny also and there's not much bass or anything to it the uh there's usp type c no quick charge it does have nfc and it does have a 720p display the, the display looks nice but those are the only two features about the phone that i like are the display and the uh speaker the i mean usb type c with no quick charge i could really care less about especially for 179 dollars um yeah, I would say, you know, my daughter gave me this bracelet when I started doing my cell phone reviews. And I just want you guys to see it, right? So it says, trustworthiness matters. And so I want you guys to trust me when I tell you, if you have $200 to spend on a device, spend it on something like the ZTE Blade Z Max, or spend 145 of it on the Huawei Honor 6X. Spend, spend it on the uh, G5 Plus, the Motorola Moto E4 Plus, um, the LG Stylo 3. Spend it on a device like that. Do yourself a favor. You get a fingerprint sensor. You'll get some quick charge. You'll get better cameras. You'll get just an overall better experience on any one of the devices I just named. So save your money here. The Sony... Uh, Xperia L1 is going to go on my wall of shame. I will be returning it. When I unboxed it, guys, and I was taking that sticker off, it scratched the back. It scratched it. My finger, my fingernail left a scratch. You see that? Right there. So I hope that I can return this. I really hope I can return it because I don't want to keep it. Um, we're coming up on 10 minutes as far as this portion of the video. So probably like 12 or 13 minutes of the video, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Sony Xperia L1 is a major, major thumbs down. Stay away from this device. Um, I don't know. I feel bad for Sony on this one. But that's what you get when you Sony and you, you, know, you make ex extremely high-end devices that are quality. Then you're not going to put forth any kind of real serious effort in your entry level devices so you can get better devices for much cheaper prices and i suggest that you do that uh, if you like the video guys like the you know suggestions i have like my input and like my honesty about the device then hit that like button um, subscribe to the channel click the notification bell leave me a comment in the section below if you have one of these devices or if you don't have the Sony Xperia L1 let me know what phone you guys do have what you're using if you're looking to upgrade uh, what kind of content you would like to see on this channel I do have an announcement that we're going to be starting to do uh, Tech News Tuesdays and we're going to start that next Tuesday so that'll be where I just sit down in front of the camera and maybe do it live I don't know maybe not do it live and talk about some of the tech news that uh, budget tech news that is breaking, um, you know, within that week. And we'll probably do that twice a, twice a month, Tech News Tuesdays, twice a month. Um, and then, so that's going to be a new series. Got lots of things coming in 2018, so like I said, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment in the section below. The comments really help, guys. The like and the comments really help the channel. So if you want the channel to grow, if you like, if you like the videos that I produce and you want me to be able to get, you know, more phones and do more reviews, then leave likes, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't, share the video. All of that stuff helps tremendously and I definitely appreciate it. As always, guys, it's Tech Know How. I hope you guys have a great day and I'm out.